In this video, I would like to show how to get accordions on search results pages. This will make your search result appear even bigger. And there is more to it than that. The individual questions and answers are clickable too. Hi and welcome back. Nice to have you in the eighth lesson of module three of my structured data training. I am Florian, the developer of SNP, the structured data and schema plugin for WordPress. If you want to use the plugin, please feel free to follow the link that you can find in the description area. In this video, I want to show you how an FHQ page markup is built. Hopefully you have watched all the lessons from the previous modules. If not, please skip back to the beginning or to a video where you feel you need to refresh your knowledge. In this video, it's important that you have understood what structured data is and what rich snippets are. You need to know how and where you can find the right schema classes as well as their properties to create the FHQ markup. Let's jump right in. A frequently asked questions page contains a list of questions and answers about a specific topic. Properly marked up FHQ pages can be eligible for a rich result in search and an action in Google Assistant, which can help your website reach the right users. As you can see, depending on the number of questions, you will also get a show more button, which makes your search result even bigger when clicked. As always, we open up Google's reference to see what properties we need. The understanding around uh, FHQ page is relatively simple. After all, there are several questions and the respective answers to them. However, the markup for it is a bit more complicated because many properties and subschemas are needed. Google uses structured data from schema.org. In this case, we need three schema types the FHQ page schema, of course, the question and the answer schema. On that pages, you can find all properties that are possible. However, as you could see on Google's reference page, you don't need every single property listed there. You only need the required ones to get the nice looking search result. Let's start to generate the snippet. But before we start, here is a quick side note. In the video, I will use the built-in generator in SNP, my structured data and schema plugin for WordPress. If you don't have the plugin, please feel free to use the structured data generator on my website to follow the video instructions. The free generator does not have all the features the built-in generator has, so it might be that you get stuck at some point, especially when it comes to uh, global snippets that allow you to automate the schema generation. Let's jump right in. Because we want to use the FHQ page on multiple posts, we set up a global snippet. If you want to learn more about global snippets, please jump back to module two of my structured data training, where I explain in every detail what global snippets are and how they work all together. Snip comes shipped with a setup wizard that you can find here. Uh, it helps you to get started. I will not use the setup wizard for now, but uh, we will import the example that I provide on my site to speed things up. You can follow the link in the description area to find it. Now just copy the code from the page. We will then create the new schema template and import that code. And after the import has finished, we see one property and that is the main entity property, which has a subschema question. The question subschema has two properties and that is the name, which according to Google's guidelines should be the question text and the accepted answer property. The latter one has a subschema of answer which has another property called text. This text property should inherit the answer to the above question. As you can see, all properties are marked overridable. This will allow us to fill in text on a per post basis. The main entity property also has the, the list check mark set. This allows us to add multiple questions. And you will see how this works in a moment. 
So now you can see why I said it's a quite complicated. Lots of sub schemas and sub properties are needed. However, it should be quite simple to use once it's set up correctly. Remember, you only need to do this once. Last but not least, we need to define when this global snippet should be included. I have created a category where all my FHQ posts are. So I will set the rule to um, post category is equal to FHQ post. Don't forget to publish your new schema template. Nah, I give it a name. All right. Now we actually need to fill in the values. As I've mentioned beforehand, I have a category with uh, all my posts that are actual FHQ posts. I have already created a sample page with three questions and answers, as you can see here. After it has opened up, click the Edit Global Snippets button on the right. It will bring up a new window where we will click the name of our newly created schema template. In my case, it's the FHQ page schema. It will then load the actual form that allows us to add content. As you can see, I have added the actual questions and answers already. Because I have three questions on that page, I have three main entity properties and therefore three question schemas. The question schemas have the question text and the answer sub schema with the answer in the text property. I could add more questions and answers by clicking the plus sign to the right, but I'm done with three questions now. Um, after you have finished, hit the save button and close the window. Repeat this with all the other posts that have FHQ page schemas. After all of that, we should check the output of the plugin using Google's Rich Results test tool to verify that everything is okay. As always, you should enter the URL to a specific post here. I need to enter the output of the plugin manually because I am on a local development site where this tool has no access to. So I run the test. And you wouldn't believe it, I get a green page that's eligible for rich results, which is a good sign. The preview button will show you how your rich snippet could look like. In my case, um, it looks a little weird as it shows the actual code for the title and the, the text. But don't worry, this is just because I was not able to provide a URL to a page. Moreover, the test tool does not always display the correct rich snippet. As you can see from the text below, it says this is just a simulation. Actual appearance or behavior on Google is not guaranteed. All right, let's sum everything up what we have learned in this video. At the time of the making of this video, the FHQ page snippet shows an accordion in search results. The FHQ page schema has only one property, the main entity. However, we need two more subschemas, the question and the answer schema. To find the wrap properties, we used Google's reference pages and schema.org as always. In this video, we used the overridable and list checkboxes, which allowed us to add questions and answers on a per post basis. That's it for now. If you are interested in other rich snippets and how they are built, please consider watching another video created by me. See you there. Bye bye.